All right, guys, Big Al's Bike and Auto coming at you. Today, I'm going with Jaden up to LKQ in Fort Lauderdale, one of the junkyards, because I want to get a new hood and grill, a replacement hood and grill, I should say, for my E36 here, the uh, 318 TIM Sport. So if you had seen my last video, when I purchased the car, I talked about the paint obviously has a lot of imperfections. Um, some can be lived with, some not so much. Now, in the future, I may either wrap or repaint the car, but not right now. Um, so I just want to make it look as good as I can on a tight budget. Now, the hood has a lot of this cracking going on. And there's these also these acid marks from the paint that were either from bird shit or tree sap or something like that. They're all over the car and the sides too. Uh, this is the fender that I did my best to clean up. I hit it with some a clay bar. Before I hit it with my buffer and some compound and I kind of reduce the visibleness of the these white stains on the paint again as this is actually a through the clear so that it will ne it de it'll never come out but you can make it kind of fade away a little bit the harshness of it so that door I haven't done these spots I have and you can still see them but they're not as white and they're soft you don't feel them whereas over here you can feel the mark so it took some of it off but uh, that's the best I can do unfortunately now mind you the car is dirty right now so um, there's water spots and stuff you're looking at as well making it look a little bit worse but it's still pretty bad um, but from a distance this car is not that bad at all and that's kind of the goal for now whether I wrap it or not I still want to change the hood and the grill anyway because there's a dent right here and there's a dent in the grill as well. So uh, there's no point in trying to save those because if I wrap or repaint the car, uh, the hood and the grill are no good. So they do have a black E36 up at the Fort Lauderdale yard I was talking about. And um, it looks like the hood and grill are in perfect shape. All right, I'm about to hit 314,000 miles of my truck on the original engine. There we go, 314. Sick. So Jade and I just were over at LKQ. We got the hood. I didn't. I forgot my phone in the truck, so I didn't film. But I saw this beautiful, beautiful uh, transport van. I love these. There's actually one for sale on Craigslist. Maybe for 300 bucks. It's been sitting for a while. Need some work. I don't need any more fucking toys. But at the same time, now that I'm seeing one in person, I want it. I think these are so cool. Especially with the Pontiac grill. Sick. I love the black roof. All right, so thank God it became a little tiny yard next door, which you don't have any faith in, but you got an E36. This hood is, I'm glad I picked the hood from the other yard because this one's all dented up, but they have a very nice grill assembly here. I don't see any rock chips at all, unlike mine, which is destroyed. There's one there too, so a couple minor ones, but it's in much better shape, and the key thing is it's not dented. I'm gonna grab this grill in a minute, unless I find one that's in better shape. This one's pretty much perfect. Oh, we got an early 36 right here. Man, nice. Rest in peace out of that. Got a TI here, non-M, of course. Uh, Jaden just bumped into. See if there's any parts I need out of this, though I doubt it. It's a real nice steering wheel cover. Ooh. Automatic, no wonder it ended up here. Um, I don't know, I don't think I need anything out of this one. Jaden was just looking through this 3 Series, E36, and he found me uh, the Oars Mail. There it is, the M Sport with my five spoke wheels. It has the package right here. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to take that. Ah, here it is. Here it is. I got Jaden here tying up this fucking thing. So, this wasn't cheap, this shit today. Um, E36 stuff's getting expensive, but still cheaper than getting online or, or Craigslist or whatever. Um, but the hood was 60, so I'm not really happy about, but it's in really good shape. And then the grill frame here, which is in perfect condition, except for now because Jaden scratched it up against the side of the truck. I'm joking. 
was um, 40 bucks. So this yard's a little more expensive than LKQ. I'm not gonna do. I didn't have one at the other yard. All right, so here's the fog light I got. It's got a crack in it, but it was cheap. Fill that in. So now I got two cracked fog lights. Right, so I have the hood off. That was for taking off the grill frame. These four star bits right here. And there's some 10 mils on the side here. Which are beautiful. There goes my uh, fucking star thing. And then after you get those, there are two 10 mil or eight mil. One of the, I'll tell you guys in a minute. Underneath the wheel well. And this should just slide right out. Uh, and there's also two eight mils that go into the fucking headlight house. It's a giant nightmare. I'm losing daylight, so let me get to it. <laughs> After you get the four star bits out, you're gonna have to go see where I got my wrench, my ratchet. Here's your radiator. Right next to the cap here. And then on this side, you're gonna have to remove the little tab you pull up on and push back the air intake thing it takes in air from the front of the car to the air box and you also have to unplug this sensor going into the radiator and once you have these two things out of the way you're gonna have the earth the two bolts just like the air side the two 10 mils right there next step is your after you get these two and two and all the star bits out there's an eight mil right back here if you want to front of the wheel behind the bumper to loosen up the fender liner so you can then get behind there and get out there's another eight mil screw there's two of them on each side that holds these in I'll show you that in a minute now behind the bumper if you look you can pull this back to stay here there's a eight millimeter screw right there you have to undo and now we'll loosen up this corner right here all right the second screw is back there there's the first one you can see I'm on the second one, eight mil as well. To loosen that up and this side will be loose all the way. We go to the other side and repeat. All right, just two more screws to go. And this thing will be coming out. You get two more eight mils. You got one here behind the headlight and one there. And then once you do those, this will all pop right out. Right, guys sorry my phone died as I was removing the grill frame but it got a little caught up on the passenger side headlight um, but it did come out for some reason I keep thinking this thing is a fucking 97 it's a 96 and I keep thinking it's a 97 and I, I swear to God this I, I'm pretty goddamn sure that let me check the door I think this thing is a 96 I know that's what the ad it said. When I went back and looked at the ad online when I bought the car. 96. It's a 96. And I keep think, telling myself it's a 97. So, of course, when I go to the junkyard, I didn't really have an option anyway because there was only a 97 E36. There was no 96s. And if there were, they were the wrong color or whatever. Um, so I pulled a grill frame off a 97 E36 and they changed the shape of the kidney grill. So these do not fit. I kind of like the look of the 97 one better, which I love that they changed it for the better. They made these a little bit smaller, a little more aggressive looking. They kind of like curve in instead of just being square. So I'm just gonna have to get new kidney grills, which I'm not crazy about having a, uh, here I am looking like an absolute mess. I'm not crazy about having a 97 grill frame on a 96 because a little bit of car was in an accident or something, but it's really the only difference, the only real change they did. Um, going to 97 I believe so it's really a big deal I mean this car is never gonna be really like a, a big money fetcher you know what I mean it's got 223,000 miles on it so it's not a big big deal and I can always change it again if I find a really nice uh, who the fuck is this a really nice 96 um, grill frame but who is this motherfucker you got a problem fuck off 
Uh, anyway, I find a real nice 96 one, I'll just swap it out again. But for the meantime, I don't want to put my shitty one back in, especially with the new hood. So I'm just going to put the 97 one in. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing obviously being to slide the new grill frame in and then get into position. And I'll show you guys what I have to do from there. Okay, so the new grill frame is in. Uh, and um, also, you can see it's in much better shape than my original one. Obviously, you're gonna have some damage around where the old uh, kidney grills were. But, it's kind of a weird thing, kidney grills. Anyway, um, plus it's just dirt. It's in very good shape. Two or three rock chips versus two or three hundred on my old one. And we've got the newer kidney stone, whatever the fuck they are, kidney style grill. So I had to relocate because of the rain. Um, you can see the edge of bay got pretty wet. But the grill is done, and now I am doing the hood, and which is always interesting as a one-man job. Taking it off is a lot harder. Um, putting it on is easy. So I already have a bolt in, just loosely each side, holding it up into the hinges there, so it's not leaning against the car. So it's in place. Um, I just have to put in the other two 10 mils, and then uh, tighten them up. And I got to rehook up these gas struts. Um, I'm gonna take the old hinges off here and connect these ones and then rerun the washer shit. The squirters back in. The hood closes, I already tested it. The grill is lined up. It appears to be dead even. Alright, so the new hood is 100% tightened up. I tucked back in the lines for these little washer fluid squirters. Let's see, moment of truth. So they're closed. Nice and crisp the way that's shut. Now mind you, this looks like shit that's covered in dirt. I mean, working on it all day, but check the gap on both sides. I've obviously I checked this before I tighten everything up, but sometimes things can move when we tighten it. See, it looks about the same to me. All right guys, I'm very happy with the results. Car looks 10 times better. And I love the lack of the chrome grills in the front. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go back to the chrome bezels with the black in the middle for the kidney grill. Uh, now after seeing it like this, I'm definitely just gonna get some black grills, for sure. Some matte black grills, maybe with a little M stripe in them. But look at how good this car looks. All I did was give it a quick wash. I haven't even buffed the rest of this car yet. Uh, when I do that, it's gonna look even better. You remember how shitty this thing looked the day I picked it up? I mean, it does not look bad at all. This is an $1,800 M Sport. 318 Ti. It looks good. The hood and the grill made a huge difference in putting that fog light in as well. Car looks brand new. I'm pumped. Wait until I do the rest of the body. It's gonna look 10 times better. And inside, I've had this thing running for 10 minutes now. Nice and cool, no overheating. Interior's looking 10 times better. This is, what, three days of work? Not even. And it's running much better because when I did this work, I figured out that the air intake coming in into the air box was all cracked. So I wrapped it in, for the time being, I wrapped it in Gorilla Tape, and right off the bat, huge difference in the way it runs. So, very, very happy.